Hey up. So this video is just going to be a hot take, it's just completely opinion, it's my opinion, and it's just about the situations that have just died down really, with Trisha Paytas and Tana Mojo. And it's just based off of my opinion and what I've experienced, and it's definitely not hate, it's just a hot take. So Trisha, if you don't know how, but Trisha is an American. Enough said. She's an American YouTuber. The mixture of videos, from mukbangs to songs, including one that says that goes where you at. In which case, hey. Lately she's been in a lot of controversy. Uh, she's come out as bi, as a chicken nugget, as a conservative, as trans, and lately as someone with DID, which I won't try to pronounce because I'm scared I'll say it wrong and offend someone. It's been a wild ride. She saw a video from Anthony Pidia, who you probably know from Smosh, if you're old. Younger people probably won't. But Anthony Pidia, he's he seems a nice lad. So she came out as having DID, which used to be known as Multiple Personality Disorder. And it's a disorder where a lot of trauma at a young age sort of causes you to develop these personalities as a coping mechanism. As you could probably understand, Trish coming out as this after previously trolling quite a bit has caused a bit of an uproar. And you can tell I'm reading. Especially because in the video she calls someone with DID a psycho. Which if you have any mental health issues you don't want to be caught. Trish should know that if she has these and she uploads videos you know crying kicking off and it it's just sort of a if kids in glass houses shouldn't throw stones uh, we'll call the person that she called psycho nin or kyle because i know that i'd get their handle wrong and i don't want to offend them or anything i will link their youtube in the description though she caused quite a bit of harm towards Nin. What would you expect, you know? If someone's so negative towards you, would you expect it to be taken well? I mean, I know this goes both sides. Um, and I'm not defending what Trisha has done. It's just a mess. Because of this, Nin was really triggered and developed another personality. Um, which you don't want to do, needless to say. Now, when everyone reacted badly to this, uh, Trish responded by putting up more videos, crying, shouting at them, calling them anything under the sun, you know, like bullies, trash, and saying like, we don't know what goes on in her life, and she's just trying to figure out who she is. And that's the point that I want to go on. We don't know what goes on in her life at all. We just know what she puts up, which is a lot of things. And there's absolutely no harm in trying to figure out who you are. I know myself, I put up a video years back talking about a gender identity that I thought I was. I got information wrong. I wasn't that gender. I delete it. I, I don't know what it is, whether I am dysmorphic, whether I have body dysmorphia and that was what made me feel the feelings. I don't know if it was just a social thing because I was hanging around with people that were all different genders, all queer, all members of the LGBT. I was wrong. I wasn't that gender, so I deleted it. I'm just bi now. I mean, I've always been bi. Now, going back to Trish. The way Trisha goes about it, the things that she says, that ends up being harmful, and that's where it stops being okay. She self-diagnoses herself, which I said in my mental health video, you shouldn't do. You sort of do it, because it does come natural. You know, just sort of say, I've not been diagnosed with this, but I think it might be this. You know, you don't just go, oh, I am this. 
I've said this. I've read about this. I've heard about this. I, I have this. There's always a chance that you don't. And you hurt someone. And obviously with a history of trolling, it comes across as that. It comes across as wanting to gain money from it. As wanting to just get attention really. Especially when she just leaves the videos up. She doesn't give any updates on whether she is or not. And it's... Yeah. No. You... She needs to handle it better. What I think Trish should do is she should go see a psychiatrist. Not a therapist or a doctor because they're not really qualified to diagnose you with them. Go see a psychiatrist because then if you are any of these things then they can help you. They can say yes you're this, no you're not this and then just get you the help that you need from what I've seen online, from Trish and my own experience, you know, what I've been tested for and helped with, I think she might have borderline personality disorder. I'm not diagnosing, I'm not qualified to, but it seems like that. So that's just my opinion and I'm going to leave it there. Tana, again if you don't know who Tana is, how? She's another American YouTuber. Um. I'm not going to go too far into this because I don't want this video to drag on. If you want details on it, um, go find a drama channel. I'm not, I'm not a drama channel yet, you know, who knows what's going to happen. So Tana has her own MTV show, it's on YouTube, it's a reality show, I think it's called Tana Turns 21. She's 21 now and it's, it seems odd, you know, to keep it like that. It follows her life. Her wedding, her divorce, and in the latter episodes it shows her going to the doctors about this cough that she has. It turns out just to be asthma, which is still dangerous, I'm sort of under playing it like she did. It seems like nothing compared to what they thought it was going to be, and then she just seems like she doesn't care, and it results in a lot of drama between her and a manager who is sort of a parental figure for her. Obviously, being a reality sh TV show, MTV sort of picks out the bits that would make the best TV. All reality TV shows do. And due to this, it's painted her in quite a bad light. It's made her seem like a spoiled, out of touch, lazy, sort of bad person and she brought out a video sort of saying this is what's going on and I genuinely do feel really bad for her. In a video she she says that she's been depressed and that sort of changed her attitude a bit which is understandable. I get depressed my bedroom turns into a mess. It just it affects you in these ways so you can understand and she explains that her relationship with her parents wasn't good. Isn't good. I'm not sure what it's like now. Because of that she sort of had to raise herself and that's sort of why she acts out. Which again is understandable. It happens. But when it does happen, she blames the world rather than herself. And that's what she shouldn't do. I used to act up and I used to blame the world. Obviously things cause that. Mental health is a reason, but it's not an excuse. As I had to do, I had to hold my hands up and say, I've done wrong, this is what I've done wrong, I'm sorry, and then try to actively get help. Of course, I don't know if she is, I would recommend her one, because I had therapy, it worked for me. They say that if it doesn't work for you, you either need a different type of therapy or a different therapist, because sometimes the therapist just isn't right for you. But again, this is all just opinion, you know, this is my thoughts. I feel like I'm just going to repeat myself on that point. Uh, so I do say that, oh, I do say, if you want to know more about it, if you want to know more of the details, go find a drama channel. All I watch is commentary YouTubers, so every time something like this happens, it's like, 
like 10 videos on it. So you'd think I'd be able to give more details, but no, I start recording and it all just leaves my head, even though I've written things down. In conclusion, having mental health issues is fine. Figuring yourself out, fine. I've been harmful about it and quite immature about it is wrong. There's help. There's always help there. I mean, obviously not at the minute, but there's help. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, share it around. All my socials will be under there. I've been doing a lot of TikToks lately, especially today because I'm made up. We're really funny. Aren't yeah, we? We are, aren't we? We, the laughs we have. Between me and we you. We have some laughs. Pranks, laughs. Oh. Um, so yeah, thank you. Bye.